Loving, disciplined, generous were the words of family and friends to the late Moronike Bode Ogumba Ne Ogumbawo at her funeral service at the redeemed Christian Church of God, the Fountain of Living Waters, and Tony Village, Lagos. The two-day burial ceremony attracted dignitaries well-wishers from far and wide who converged on Ikorodu for the final burial rite. Our correspondent, Paul George, was there and brought back this report. Men and women, young and old, at this congregation wore mournful looks. It was a moment of sadness and celebration of a life well lived by Mrs. Morenike Bode Ugumba. Tributes poured in one after the other from her friends and those who had some experiences with her when she was alive. The son, Aditakpo Ogumba, and one of her daughter's in law, Layo Shola Daniels, spoke about her good deeds, wishing her eternal rest. My mom um, was a mother indeed. She practically gave her life for us. She was very tough, she was a disciplinarian, but. Um, after 50 years of life, we look back and we realize that that discipline was worth it. And we love her so much. She was so wonderful. And we will miss her, but we know she has gone to a better place to be with the Lord. She was brutally honest. She knew what she wanted. And more often than not, we may not agree with her, but we always found out that whatever she said was actually the right thing to do. She had a way with people. She was a people lover. Even though she would say she has favorites, she would tell me that the other one is her favorite. Then she'll go to the other one and tell her that I'm her favorite. You can see the children. She raised four boys, single-handedly, and all of them turned out well. I know that she's already with Jesus. Her bosom friend and confidant, Adoni Kasim, shed tears as she recounted great memories of her. I miss her so much. Meanwhile, the senior pastor of the redeemed Christian Church of God, the Fountain of Living Waters, Conrad Meime, gave exhortations from the book of James, chapter 4, verse 13 and 14. When she was a frank someone, she would tell you the truth. It doesn't matter whether you agree or you don't agree with her. In my marriage, she helped me. I'm going to Jerusalem. She was the one that facilitated my journey, she told me that when she comes back, she will make sure that that one, that sleeper, did my own. I miss her. Uh, it be what you talk or you see. Koni fese ko, koni joko, koni je ko lo unton je long, lo ma ba moje. The scripture we just read in James chapter four says. You who have made plans for tomorrow, how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? The next day, well wishers converge on a Kurudu for the burial proper. The poor bearer, in celebration of the late Mommy Ogumba, as some called her, displayed their dancing steps, adding color to the ceremony. The senior pastor of the Fountain of Living Waters, Pastor Meime, prayed. Tears followed as her remains were finally committed to Mother Earth. The celebration of life continued with a reception after a short service held for the late MBO. The second son of the deceased, Adin Kashumoto, said if reincarnation was possible, he would want her mother back. Other members of the family, Victoria Omobo Ali Ogumbanwo, and Awolabi Ogumbanwo also paid tributes to their late sister. Apart from our biological children, there are a lot of other people who call her mom that she you know, basically adopted and, and sowed into their lives and was a blessing to them. So I know that's a lot, but you know, my mother was many things and uh, there are many things that we remember her for. If I could choose all over again, 100% I'll choose her to be my mom. We just want her to continue to rest in the bosom of our Lord and Savior. She, she does not con condone nonsense. If you say anything, she will scold you immediately. That is that. So she has, she's a good woman. Very good. Well, I wish
When you look at her, you have seen our mother. There's no good thing to say about that than it is well with her. And even in her death, we will still continue to love her. Murenike Bode Ogumba, Ni Ogumbanwo, was born on March 8, 1941, in Shagamu to Mr. Emmanuel Adebayo Ogumbanwo and Madam Ramotu Ogumbanwo. She died on December 26, 2003. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.